Welcome to the first in a series of macro tutorials. This tutorial shows you how to create and edit a simple macro. Creating a macro in WordPerfect is very similar to creating a video clip with a camera. You turn on the recorder, record your actions, and then turn the recorder off. The result is a macro file that you can play over and over again. For this example, we will create a macro that inserts a signature block. The first step is to turn on the recorder. Choose Tools, Macro, Record. Give it a name, we'll call this SIG block. When you click the Record button, you'll see a new bar that contains a pause and a stop button. These look very similar to the buttons on a camcorder. And then you take your action on the document. One of the advantages of creating macros is that they will run the exact same every single time. So each time you run the macro, this exact same signature block will be inserted. When you're finished recording your actions, click the stop button. When you're ready to insert the signature on another letter, you simply play the macro by choosing Tools, Macro, Play, scrolling through the list until you find SIG block, double click it, you run the macro, and that inserts the signature block. Let's say you want to make a small change to this macro. Rather than recreating the macro, you can edit it just like you would a document. To edit a macro, you choose Tools, Macro, Edit, locate it in the list, and double click it to open it in the document window. When the macro opens in the document window, you'll notice the very top line begins with the word Application. It's important that you not delete any part of this line. The other changes can be made just as you would in the document window. In this case, we're going to e replace the letters J-A-L with B-T-A. So we simply select those letters and replace them. And we click the Save button to save the changes. We'll run the macro one more time so that you can see that your changes are in effect immediately. Scroll through the list, double click on SIGBLOCK, and you can see that the BTA is there. That's it. That's all you need to know to create and edit a simple macro.